All right, uh, my friends over at PCB Way made me a little uh, a little name tag. <laughs> That's pretty cute. They gave me some uh, some stuff for Christmas. Uh, they always give me a blanket for uh, MSI Dog and uh, <laughs> some other things. So anyway, uh, yeah, thanks thanks to PCB Way for supporting the channel, giving me all the boards that I need. I thought it was time to do a couple more boards. Uh, I did the gyrator board. And uh, I did uh, a board in the past that's been quite popular, this um, op amp board. And it has the schematic right on the, on the PC board here. Um, all of these boards are available on the, my share site on PCBWay. I'll put, a, I'll put a link down below. I get 10% if you buy some of these things. Um, so this one has been popular. So I wanted to do another one. And I did this one, all right? So this one is all about transistors, okay? Uh, this one was all about uh, op amps. This one's all about transistors. I wanted to have some type of board that you could use in a, a teaching environment. Uh, you could have a, a students uh, use this to test different types of, uh, of uh, transistor circuits that people are interested in. Um, the, uh, the, bear, the bear board has uh, all of the schematic on it. And then for each transistor, you load it. So they're all NPN transistors except for one. This is a PNP, so make sure you put it in the right way around. It's, it's different than all the others, uh, but it's emitter-based collector. You can see that right on the schematic. Um, power comes in at the bottom here. And uh, so what, what's, on the, what's on the board? Let me... Uh, Okay, so the first circuit is just a, basically a very simple circuit. It's just, uh, I would say it's a switch. You could, you could drive an LED, you could drive a relay, you, you could drive a motor. Anyway, it's just an input into the base and the emitter is grounded. And uh, you can take the uh, 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 signal off here out of R, off of R2, or you could put in a load here. You could, you could, you could wire a motor right in here. Um, anywhere you see VCC, it, it goes back here to this common VCC. The only other uh, voltage that you need to worry about is this over here. There's a minus VCC as well for the common base amplifier. You need a negative voltage. Otherwise, everything else just runs off of positive ones. So anyway, so here's the simple one. Uh, here's the Tar Darlington version of that. So if you need more gain, uh, there's a simple NPN, NPN Darlington. Uh, there's also the Zaglai uh, pair down here, uh, which uses that PNP. So that's that's down this away. If you want an emitter follower, that's this here. Whatever voltage you put in comes out here, minus a VBE drop. There's a common base amplifier. I did a, a, a video on those. I've done a video on most of these things. I just wanted to put it all on one board. Uh, there's, a, there's a very simple common emitter amplifier. Uh, capacitively coupled in, bias uh, to the uh, uh, transistor. You can put in a um, capacitor here to increase the gain, um, capacitively coupled out. And there's also a cast code. If you want to get real fancy, there's a cast code circuit here that you can play with. And you can load uh, different, uh, different configurations and try these, I'll try these things out here. Uh, I did put in uh, MSI Dog with his MSI computer. Uh, my wife drew this for me. Uh, so uh, there you go. Homage to uh, MSI dog there. And uh, yeah, so let's just take a brief look at this. I'm not going to go into too much detail. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought it uh, would be a great learning tool for those who just want to start getting into transistors. A lot of people maybe start out with uh, microcontrollers like an Arduino or something and then they say oh I'm kind of interested in electronics and they might learn about op amps and then uh, may maybe a board like this would be very interesting for for op amps and then oh well what are my op amps made out of oh they're made out of actually transistors maybe I can learn all about transistor circuits and this would be this would be a great one um, most of the like uh, beginning electronic courses, they kind of teach that in reverse order. First, they'll teach you about transistors, and then they'll teach you about op amps, and then they'll teach you about microcontrollers. So you can either go in the forward direction or the reverse direction. Uh, but as long as you go in some direction and learn electronics, that's all I care about. You know, get you off of YouTube and into the garage working on things. Uh, so hopefully this will encourage you. So let's take a look at a couple of these circuits. 
All right, so I'm gonna use some very simple things. Um, a lot of people are kind of scared about getting into electronics because they think they have to buy a whole bunch of equipment to learn. And you don't, you don't need an oscilloscope, you don't need a spectrum analyzer, you don't need all kinds of stuff. You just need maybe a voltmeter and a power supply and that's that, that, that gets you started, okay? So we're gonna do that. We'll have, uh, I'm gonna use two voltmeters, but you certainly could just w use one voltmeter and just change from one to another. But uh, this just photographs better, so we're gonna do it this way. All right, but these are just $35 uh, DVMs, right? Very cheap stuff. And so we'll use, uh, we'll use this one to monitor the output and we'll use this one to monitor the input. Okay, so it goes onto a common ground here and then we'll monitor the, the, the input, okay? All right, so uh, we have about 3.7 volts on the input and about three volts on the output. Well, that's a emitter follower. Whatever you put on the input, you have about a VBE drop to the output, okay? And I can reach around the camera here. I can change the, uh, the input. So let's go down here. Let's put the input down to three volts, okay? And then the output is gonna be about 0.7 volts below that. So, you know, you can play with this. You can see, you know, how far down will it work? How far up will it work and stuff? Um, and if I put in... Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so let's try a different one. We will move our... up to the simple one here, okay? Simple one. And let's monitor the output. All right. All right, there we go. So we've got three volts coming in and we have 0.1 volts going out, okay? So that is a circuit where um, we, uh, if we have a high on the input, we're gonna have a low on the output, okay? And so here, three volts is saturating the, the uh, transistor. And we can look at the, at the saturation voltage. It's about 1.1 volts um, with, with a 1K load. So I have 1K pull up on the output of this thing. And uh, there is no set standard resistors or capacitors, whatever you want to put in here. It's up to you. you. You get to choose what circuit you want to analyze, okay? So you get a stack of 10 boards or something, you can try a whole bunch of different circuits, right? All right, so that's that. We can, uh, we can, drop, the, uh, we can drop the input voltage down. And so here at 1.1 volts, we only have... 3.8 volts, so we we're not saturating the, uh, we're not saturating the, uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, we got, the, we got a helper, we got a helper, there he is, he's helping today, good boy, good boy, I'm sorry, dog, yeah, good boy, good boy, he's right there, see, I told you he's right there, <laughs> he likes to come and help sometimes. All right, where were we? We were looking at the saturation voltage, okay? With only 1.1 volts in, we're only getting uh, three, we're get, getting three volts out. If we had no volts going in, okay, let me take it down all the way to zero. It's, this is gonna go up to 10 volts, so I have 10 volts on the input, on the uh, pull-up, on the output, so we can go from 10 volts down to something else. So we can, we can change our input a little bit here, and we can get it so it's about There we go, two volts is with very little in, right? I have, I'm losing my contact here. There we go, with 1.2 1. 1. volts in, we get about 2.3 volts out. So you can kind of, you could graph it too. You could go step by step by step and graph it, okay? So if you had a, uh, a function generator that did a, uh, uh, a ramp, you could uh, then put that ramp into an oscilloscope and you could see all of this real time, okay? So if you're rich and you can afford an oscilloscope and a function generator and all the other stuff, yeah, you can do other things as well with these boards. But I'm trying to keep it real simple today with just very, very simple tools. You can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. There's a burden voltage. It's not really called burden voltage, but there's an input voltage that is uh, converted into a current. A current goes through a 10K resistor. I have a 10K on the, on the base. So this voltage, uh, this voltage, <laughs> goes through a 10K resistor, and that sets a certain number of, of uh, current. And then that current gets uh, magnified by the beta of the transistor, and it pulls down on that uh, 10 volt uh, signal and pulls down through that 1K resistor and ends up giving us 2.3 volts. So you could look at all the equations and you could figure out, oh yeah, that's this, that you could calculate the beta of the transistor by these numbers, okay? There's a whole bunch of things that you can do. All right, let's move over to a Darlington, okay? And uh, 
here we go. The Darlington uh, 1.2 volts is giving us, oh, it's not as well. Remember on just a single transistor, we were down to 2.3 uh, volts. And here, we're only at 7 volts. Well, remember, um, we talked about this when I talked about Darlingtons. In order to get that Darlington to saturate, okay, you have to have an input voltage, two VBEs, at least, at least 1.4 volts uh, here before you can pull down really good on the output, right? So you can look at that here. Now we're at 1.8 volts. Now we're pulling down its point, it's 0.7 volts, okay? And then the, uh, the other one's gonna be about the same. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Um, it's a cute little board. Uh, if, you, if you get it built, um, you can choose whatever color you want. I like the black ones because then the white shows up well. Um, you could choose to uh, not have any solder mask on the back. Right now I have black everywhere and, and uh, you can't see the traces because of the black. People complain about that. But you could choose to not have any solder mask at all on the back and just uh, whatever solder mask you want on the front. It's up to you. Um, it's up to you when you, or when you order the boards, okay? Anyway, uh, like I said, I'll put this in the link down below if you want to if you want to order these things, or give them away for uh, give them away for birthday presents, right? Well, Christmas is already over, so <laughs> there you go.